foodies you all know from the thumbnail we are making shortbread cookies and you will need some room temperature butter for this recipe make sure you use a very good quality butter for best result and I have gone in with 200 grams of butter and 100 grams of castor sugar you can use um, icing sugar if you prefer but I love to use castor sugar because of its texture and it, the texture it gives to my cooking. Now you can use a hand mixer or just you can use a, a spatula or a whisk to mix your butter and sugar together or you can use a hand mixer like I am doing. What you are looking for is a fluffy um, yellowish soft consistency like this. So once you've achieved that, we are going to see 300 grams of all-purpose flour into our bat um, beaten butter and sugar. I added uh, two tablespoons of milk, which is completely optional, and some cornstarch, about a quarter cup of cornstarch, which is optional as well. And then of course, I added a teaspoon of salt. The salt is very important especially because i am using unsalted butter but if you are using salted butter just reduce um, the quantity of salt you will be adding to half mix everything together until you get a crumbly texture like this and then go in with your fingers and form a nice smooth dough keep watching my name is joy if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to hit the subscribe button and make sure you like this video and of course share the video as well as it will be helpful to some <laughs> all right So once my dough is formed, I am going to roll it out on a um, baking sheet like this. You can use a cling film if you have one available. I will just flatten it with a rolling pin and then of course fold that and keep it refrigerated for about two, um, one to two hours. And this is to firm up our dough as we prepare to cut it. Friends, this is so much better than the store birth one because you know what you are getting. It doesn't have all those preservatives and it is so delicious. The milk is not necessary, but I just like to add some dried milk just to give me a more creamy taste, all right? So this is one hour into our um, free, uh, keeping this in the refrigerator. I take it out and I am going to cut into thin strips. Now you can go ahead and make them into circles, flatter shades. Just go ahead, play around with it. Do whatever fun activity you want to do with it. At this point, you have to work really fast and start preheating your oven to about 175 degrees to keep it hot. So you work fast because you do not want your butter to start melting. And this is so important because here in Lagos, it's actually very, very hot. <laughs> so the butter can start melting and you do not want it to melt in the oven. So you go ahead and work with it fast enough all right so punch a hole feel free do it however you want freestyle freestyle it's your stuff <laughs> you own it own this recipe all right so yes we're going to do that and don't that in an oven and you'll let this bake for about 
30 40 mine took about um 30 40 minutes on really low heat i just gave the average measurement of 175 degrees um but my oven doesn't actually have that it doesn't have I, I boil it i put it on the lowest setting and i let this bake for about 35 minutes i think yeah 35 minutes if i remember well so you i could actually have let it baked in just after cutting it and separate after it all right but that's not a problem i want it separated now the rest of the dough you can preserve you can keep this in the freezer or in the fridge i kept this in the fridge because i intend to make some for my toddler to go to school with within the week and it, it still keeps fantastically well if you freeze it then you make sure you let it thaw at room temperature before you mold it back up and bake. This was so good, guys. <laughs> See you in my next video. I love you. Bye.